Welcome back to Keep Calm and Bake. I'm Caroline and I have my own YouTube cooking channel, but today I'm going to teach you how to make an apple crumble. To start with, I've got a big bowl of some Bramley apples already peeled, cored and chopped. These are going to go straight into my saucepan. Pour your water in, then your sugar, sprinkle of cinnamon just to give it that extra bit of flavour because apples and cinnamon make an amazing combination. Leave this to bubble just for a few minutes until the apples start going a little bit soft. Mix the corn flour with a little bit of water just to make it into a paste. Pour this into your apples. Give it a good stir around and just leave this for another couple of minutes just to thicken up that sauce. The corn flour makes the sauce in the apples and makes all those juices lovely and thick and syrupy. Okay. Now, you don't even have to cook the apples that long, so these are ready. It's just been on there a few minutes. I'm going to pour this ah, that's hot, into my dish. Ooh. Lovely. So get it all in there. Mmm. Gosh. This is probably one of my favourite, most comfy, warming desserts. Apple crumble with custard. Yeah. Now, leave this to one side and you can make your crumble topping now. Just add your flour. Next, your cold butter, cut into cubes. Sugar. Custard powder, that's my secret tip. Now pulse this until it becomes fine breadcrumbs. And if you like the look of this and you're a fan of crumbles and baking in general, then make sure you hit subscribe so you get all the recipes sent straight to your inbox. And if you do like savoury stuff, then go check out my YouTube cooking channel. There are tons of more recipes on there. Great, that's done. Now you just stop blitzing it uh, once it forms kind of like biggish lumps. I can have a, just a mixture. I've got some big chunks in there and some fine chunks. And the custard powder, in case you're wondering why I put custard powder in my crumble, is that I like my topping to be lovely and crispy, a little bit crunchy, so it basically helps get that crunch going on. Now, you can pour the topping over all the apples. There we go. Make sure everything is covered. Okay. Okay then. That's it. That's pretty easy. Now this goes into the oven at 180 degrees C for about 30 to 40 minutes or until you see the top is all golden and a little bit of the apple juice is oozing up through the sides. Right, let's serve some up. Could you hear that crunch? Mm -hmm. The topping is lovely and crispy, crunchy. Right, big portion coming out. Yum. Apples are Lovely and soft, and there's still a little bit of sauce in there, which is great. Mmm. So for me, this is perfect. It's not too runny, and it's still got a little bit of sauce, which is great. If only you could smell it. I can waft some smell out to you. Now, I can't have crumble without some custard. So, on goes my custard. Right. Very, very good. I hope you all... Mm really enjoy this recipe, please leave me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe so you can get all these wonderful recipes sent straight to your inbox. And I'll see you again on the next Keep Calm and Bake. Toodle pips.